there might be a serious issue with the M1 MacBooks that every owner or potential buyer needs to know about. Over the past week or so, I've been getting some comments about this issue, and for the most part, I didn't pay any attention to them because I wasn't sure if it was some viewer throwing shade at Apple or something like that, but then I thought, what if it is true? So I started doing research, I found some Reddit threads about the topic, and I wanted to share with you what I found out what my personal experience has been, and then also put some context into what's available online. So the potential problem I'm talking about has to do with charging the M1 MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air with the USB-C hub. If you've seen some of my other videos about these MacBooks, you've heard me mention that I use several USB-C hubs on both my M1 MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro because each one of them only comes with two ports. I didn't have much of an issue with the MacBook Air only coming with one port because it's really an entry level notebook, but on the Pro on the other hand, I really felt like Apple should have included four ports. But regardless, as a result of that, I use a variety of USB-C hubs and dongles to expand my IO options. And personally, I've had no issues with them. I use multiple hubs from different manufacturers, and they all seem to work just fine for me so far. So what are people reporting? Now, some people have reported that their M1 MacBook was completely bricked after charging using the same charging adapter and cable that they normally use, but going through the USB-C port on the hub rather than directly into the MacBook. And when I say brick, I'm talking about a MacBook that goes blank, it's completely unresponsive, the display doesn't work, no LEDs, no fans, it's as if the laptop has no power at all. And in some cases, it took three weeks for this to happen and sometimes as fast as 30 minutes. Now, according to these claims, the USB-C hub was the cause. And at this point, there's no solution but to return the machine to Apple and then get a replacement. Now, one thing I'm not clear about is what happens to your data. Is it recoverable or are you literally losing everything? And I wanna pause here for a second and reiterate something that you've probably heard me say in other videos. It doesn't matter what laptop or desktop you're using, please back up your data. And I don't care how you do it. Get an iCloud account, Google Drive, Dropbox, use external SSDs, anything. If your files are important to you and you only have them in one place, sooner or later, something can happen and you'll regret not making that investment. It's like insurance. You never need it until you actually need it. I use a NAS or a network attached storage and I have a RAID array so that my files are stored twice on different drives. That way, if one of the drives fails, I can take it out, replace it with a new one, then the system will rebuild it. And even that's not enough for me because technically I still have everything in one place. And if, I don't know, this office caught on fire or something like that, I would still lose everything. So I actually got another one, some more drives over here, and I'm going to put this in another location and then have the one that I'm currently using back up to this one and sync over the web. Okay, so that was my public service announcement for the day, but going back to the charging reports, there was some discussion about whether this had to do with PD or power delivery USB-C hubs or not. And the LP put a poll on the Reddit thread where voters were given six options. So whether it failed with a USB-C power delivery device, whether it failed with a USB-C hub that does not have power delivery, and whether it works perfectly with a power delivery device. I guess they were assuming that if it works with power delivery, it will work without. So at the time I'm making this video, these were the results, and then let me put them in context. So that's a total of 221 votes, where 67% of the voters reported that everything works perfectly. And at first glance, you might say, well, that's only two thirds. That means one third of the people are reporting a problem. Well. Not exactly, because I would guess that most of the thousands and thousands of users who aren't having issues aren't going to come across this thread. And also, just like things like restaurant reviews, people are way more likely to complain about a bad meal rather than leave a good review for a good one. So people aren't seeking this thread in order to vote that their MacBook Pro is doing just great. To save you the time, I read through the entire thread, including every single reply, and people were talking about different USB-C hub brands but there was no pattern that I could identify. For the most part, for any brand that was mentioned, there was someone else saying, yeah, but I use that same one, I've been using it for a while, charging the exact same way and I've had no issue. And like I mentioned before, that doesn't take into account every other user of those hubs who isn't having issues and is not coming across this thread. I do wanna give credit to the OP who in their original post made sure that this didn't turn into like an anti-Apple thread, but rather it was super focused on this topic. As of now, I don't have enough information to stop me from charging using a USB-C hub. 
I also use different power adapters going all the way up to 100 watts, and they all seem to be doing a great job with my MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. Hopefully over the next few weeks, we get some more clarity about what exactly is going on and whether it's related to the hubs, the cables, the port, another component, or maybe it's just a coincidence. Either way, make sure that you have backup. And let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have an M1 MacBook, let me know if you're charging using a USB-C hub or not, then whether or not you've had any issues. I think reporting that you haven't had any issues is super important so that we can get more of a representative sample. If you wanna see more M1 MacBook Pro and MacBook Air videos, check out these two right here. Don't forget to click on my face to join the community. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.